What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Grim Runner. It's your boy Clef Mikado. We back at it again with another video today. Now, first off, before we jump into this video, I just want to say I apologize for not posting any content last week. Last week, I actually had to spend, you know, uh, I, I decided it was time that I needed to spend with my actual, you know, family. I get a lot of things in order as far as the actual channel, the, the vision that I have for the channel, the direction that I have for the channel, because I really want the channel to grow. I really want to take the channel to the next level, man. So, you know, sometimes you need that little mental break. Sometimes you need that, you know, that, that mental, uh, that, that time to you know get mental clarity and kind of like you know just just think about your vision and you know what direction you want to head in in life and that's what i had to do for the channel i decided to go ahead and create an actual youtube <coughs> channel uh, official youtube channel for the grim runner channel so that is live make sure y'all go ahead and y'all follow it if you're looking at the video right now make sure you go ahead and follow the official grim runner instagram channel and that's pretty much it. I don't want to take too much of your time. I want to go ahead and jump right into the topic. We go talk about these 275 tires. As y'all know, I got the 275s added to the back, as y'all can see. And man, so far, within this past couple weeks, these tires have been serving me well. They, it's been a major difference from having those 245s. And this video is mainly for the individuals who have not pulled the trigger yet I, I get a lot of comments i get a lot of inquiries asking about the 275 tires do they fit on the stock wheel so we go go ahead and answer all of your questions and hopefully this video helps y'all out man so let's go ahead and jump right into it let's get it all right y'all so once again as you can see we got the 275 tires now to answer a lot of you guys questions yes 275s will fit on the stock eight inch wheels so the wheel that i have is the standard rt 20 by eight inch wheel and i was able to go ahead and fit the 275 40 r20 now the only thing is it depends on what tire shop you go to most of the big chains and the big uh you know like uh you know discount tires and things like that you know i don't really want to name drop too many names but both excuse me my bad y'all most of the actual big companies they're not going for it they will not put these uh tires on the stock wheel but if you actually happen to find like a smaller tire shop they are usually more than willing to go ahead and put the actual uh tires on but so far i have not had any issues none whatsoever like it's literally a dramatic difference it's night and day now that's the next thing that I want to talk about. What I have noticed since adding the 275 tires on the back of the actual car is improved and also very, very, very consistent times. Now, before I got these, before I uh, switched them out, the 245s would constantly spin, constantly spin. Every time I punched that thing, the 275s would spin. I didn't get any grip on the road i didn't get any traction so whenever i would try to do a uh, zero to 60 time i would usually average in between like 5.5 5.7 5.8 5 5.9 it was literally all over the place now one main factor that i did find out is going to depend on what type of road you on man you need to make sure that you on like a a, a very smooth type of pavement very smooth road now I never thought about, I'm gonna show y'all this real, real quick. I never thought about coming back here and actually filming and doing a couple runs. So I might actually come back here and give that a shot now that I got my 275s on the back. Now with the 275s, I have consistently, literally been averaging between 5.0 and 5.3. Nothing over that unless it was my error for the most part so literally in between 5.0 and 5.3 every single time every single time so it definitely makes a difference now if you do have an actual larger wheel like if you got a 20 by 
nine and a half or 20 by 10 you can go all the way up to 315s and whatever other tire you know is bigger than that i really haven't looked into the larger or the wider tires that'll fit those size wheels because i still have the 20 by 8s even though eventually i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade and get like a hellcat style wheel around go with maybe like a staggered type look and i'll probably go with maybe some 315s on the back and put like 275s on the front or something like that but my current setup y'all excuse me my current setup is 275 on the back and i still got the 245 in the front and it's doing me justice it's doing excuse me it's do, doing me justice i don't have any regrets at all it's definitely worth the money now one last thing i want to cover the tires once again if you're looking for a brand now i i don't i don't want to tell you exactly what to do but i do recommend if you just want to get some tires to kind of play around with just go ahead and go with the actual aturo 275 because i mean you can't beat that 130 like 132 bucks per tire you can't beat that man especially if you just want to play around and have a little bit of fun just go with the just go with the cheap joints now i mean if you don't plan on running like that and you just want to go with something fancy you can go with nitto you can go with a pirelli you can go with mickey t's if you really want to get fancy you can go with some mickey t's and that's really gonna get you some really good traction but yeah man that's all i really wanted to cover today i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on how i feel about the tire so far and do i recommend them because like i said a lot of you guys not the, this video is not for the guys who actually have the tires on their car this is for the guys who and excuse me the guys and the girls who are thinking about swapping out the tires and are kind of hesitant and scared to pull the trigger because i know at the beginning of it i was a little bit hesitant because i didn't know if these things would actually fit on the 275s i literally did constant constant hours through the forums looking at youtube videos and i finally pulled the trigger so yeah man it's definitely worth it go ahead and get those 275s and that's pretty much go wrap it up for the video once again make sure y'all go ahead and y'all follow the official instagram for the grim runner channel that is gonna be in the description down here i'm also i also might put a little link on the actual screen and for those of y'all who just want to know the uh, actual tag for the channel is going to be the grim runner underscore so the grim runner all together with an underscore at the end and that's pretty much go wrap it up for the video so make sure you go ahead and y'all smash the thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you go ahead and drop a comment and then we gonna be back with some more heat man we gonna be back with some more heat man so i appreciate all of y'all support thank you and y'all have a blessed day